Hey everyone, road trip today. Decided to stop by my local Walmart to see what they've got as far as griddling and grilling tools and accessories now that it's March 1st and we're getting closer to spring. Speaking of March 1st, so at the recording of this video, it is the first release day of Mandalorian season three. So I've got my Roosevelt's Mandalorian, this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way shirt on as a way to celebrate the day, but also out at, at my local Walmart just to see what griddling accessories that I don't currently have that I want to add to my wish list. So let's take a look around. To get started, it looks like the griddle that they are really pushing is the 36 inch air fryer model. A lot of bells and whistles with this one. I would really like to see with mine versus what I have with the hard top is just to have the actual hood. So taking a look at the griddles that they have for sale, they've got the Pit Boss at 374. What I think is a phenomenal deal is this is the exact same one I have at home. I bought it Black Friday at Tractor Supply for $249. It was $100 off. Walmart has the everyday low price at $279. This is the the hardcover, folding shelves, the magnetic fronts, you know, that's what this is stuck to. And then it's got the helpful little um, paper towel holder as well. So I love it. I still haven't done a review, a full review on mine, but great price to get into griddling. You know, you take a look at the wheels, it's having some, some good caster wheels and actually wheels that aren't gonna fall apart on you at that price point is pretty good. Then you get into the 28 inch with the shelf, a little bit of a higher price point, and then 28 inch with a, I don't really see a need for the warming rack over there. I feel like you can just use the, the full griddle surface for as little as you'll need a, a saucepan or anything else um, on there. So I would go with the bigger surface just so that you have that all the time versus a burner that might get used 10% of the time. But this one, I would say for me is the, the silver tuna. Huh. It's very cheap. And would recommend it to anyone who's interested in getting into griddling. So when I got my griddle in November and really started to get into the lifestyle, the accessories and everything, all of the summer stuff was cleared out big box stores and most places we really had a very slimmed down assortment of of items and just looking at everything here it's it's nice to be able to be hands-on and actually see what you're working with and you can't always get that when looking at amazon or looking at blackstoneproducts.com or, or pit boss's website so being able to be here and and see the the summer assortment yeah it's like a kid in the candy store as you can see, these squeeze bottles that they have for $7.97, I swear by these, I've got two. I've got one for my avocado oil and one for my water. Certainly something that I can use more of. I have this griddle scraper. I highly recommend it. I find that to be not just for cleaning up, but also scrambled eggs. It's really easy to, to keep them on the surface. I'm really doing my best not to just throw everything in my cart having a, a six egg ring tray. I currently have two egg rings. You can see here they've got the bundle that's got two squared and two circled. But yeah, a lot of stuff. Pizza kits, we really got into our first time a couple weeks ago putting pizzas on the griddle. Let's take a look, see at this. Uh, it's got a rocker, cutter, and tray. 50 bucks, um, maybe not, but uh, certainly helpful tools. That's a, that's a pretty big spatula there. That will scoop up as many, as big of a smash burger that you can produce. Now, he's making them breakfast. All right, last thing to take a look at are different seasonings. So again, just kind of being in that Blackstone ecosystem. I've tried the whiskey burger. I've got the all-purpose. I've got the tequila lime. Cheese steaks. 
going to be doing cheesesteaks here in a couple days. Might hang on to this one. Well, I'll, I'll pay for it, but something that could be a nice add. I'm sure I'm missing out on a lot of different good seasonings from other brands, but hey, I'm learning. Starting small, and the more I get outside of my comfort zone and try different things, you know, that's how you find what works for you. Never heard of meat claws. Here are what I would say are the essential items. So presses, hoods, and maybe a breakfast kit. So I've got the breakfast kit. I would say it's a little bit easier just to use a soup ladle to dump your batter on the Blackstone than it is to use the, the contraption that they have there. Just with cleanup and everything, it, it doesn't seem like it's, it's a value add. As far as hoods go, I do have the 12 inch round basting cover. I like it a lot. I would really like to have the, uh, the XL, the rectangular one, cover more surface area, basically half of the griddle top. But $50, it's not a, uh, a must have. It's more of a, um, would be a, a nice to have at some point. And then as far as presses, I have a bacon press that came in a breakfast kit that works just fine for smash burgers, a bacon press or anything that I need to smash down. You know, these other options, the, the extra large and the smaller one are, are good alternatives too if you're not getting one as a part of a kit. Lastly, these cup liners. I would never not use a cup liner. They're fairly cheap. Quite honestly, get them off Amazon. You can get a 50 pack for 10 bucks, whereas I don't know how much these are. They're not in the right spot. Um, Amazon for off brands, I think, is a, a good place to save some money and save yourself some hassle with cleaning the, the tray that doesn't really need to get dirty. Short but sweet. Thanks for joining me today. Just wanted to give you a quick look see. Get out to your local Walmart, get out to your local Ace Hardware, anywhere that stocks really any grilling, griddling accessories they're not all needed if you have some extra spending money there's some cool things that can make griddling a little bit more fun i still have a basic setup i haven't gotten too far into the accessory game but it's it's fun to window shop so with that i hope you enjoyed it get out and watch the mandalorian streaming now and we'll talk to you later